So Have let you. me ask you a question. So in the CRT literature, what what do they think of white people or whiteness? Um, who would you like me to quote? Kimberly Crenshaw. I haven't read Kimberly Crenshaw. She says that whiteness is a cancer or a toxin on our society. The concept of whiteness, the racial concept of whiteness. Okay, so what is whiteness? What is whiteness? Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, and if you ask a studio about the grace, I love you from Charlie Cake. So today, um, college girl says ID cards are racist affirmative action. Okay, so guys, I better do this. Get started. So Have let you. me ask you a question. So in the CRT literature, what what do they think of white people or whiteness? Um, who would you like me to quote? Kimberly Crenshaw. I haven't read Kimberly Crenshaw. She says that whiteness is a cancer or a toxin on our society. Okay. The concept of whiteness, the racial concept of whiteness. Okay, so what is whiteness? What is whiteness? Yeah, define it. As Kimberly Crenshaw would probably say, the sort of construction of privilege that comes with being white in this country. Right, so what, what privilege do you and I as white people have that black people don't have? Yeah, great question. Um, on applications that are blindly judged, white sounding names are often given the job more, they're paid Not more. Not true. In fact, it's the opposite. There's black privilege right now. It's called affirmative action, hmm. where underqualified blacks are taking Asians and white people's places in universities across the country. True or false? Um, the sure, the, true. Okay, so yeah, there's black privilege, not white privilege. I in actually this don't think affirmative action is how we address in education inequality. Okay, well, that affirmative action was lar is still largely supported by the CRT regime. But let's get back to CRT, to the essence of it. Sure. CRT believes in one manifestation of its ideology is black only dormitories. So white people are not allowed. Do you believe in black only dormitories? No, and I don't have to agree okay. with yeah. every no, you're, aspect you're of fair. an ideology Fine. to argue like for it. You. So so then what part of CRT do you like? Because they call whiteness a toxin, black only dormitories. And if you want to talk about like ideological or intellectual sloppiness, mm -hmm. the 1619 project was- I think it's very sloppy. Okay, we agree. Okay. Nicole Hannah-Jones- I think it's overstated and okay. I think some you're, of you're parts are inaccurate. Fair. Okay, good. Um, the parts of CRT that I think are most relevant and, you know, very factually, uh, you can, you know, s s what am I trying to say? There's a lot of evidence for them, is the fact that previous inequalities, such as the institution of slavery, such as our treatment of Native Americans, do, in fact, affect those populations today. And you were saying before, in, you know, inner cities, there's a lot more crime. And a lot of that is because of redlining and other, like, practices that come directly from the mistreatment of minorities previously Wait, okay. in this country. Okay, so I want to make sure I understand. So, so black people make up 13% of the American population. Oh, 1350, my favorite. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Why do they commit 55% of all the murders? Super great question. Um, it's basically a very complex intersection of race and um, economic status. It's pretty well known that uh, minority people tend to be um, in a lower economic status because of discrimination that so they face. So then why don't poor Asians commit a lot of murders? Also a great, great question. Um, Asian people weren't originally brought to America on purpose like black people, and they weren't already present here like natives. Okay, wait, so, I'm not so, finished, wait so blacks murder because they were brought here 250 years no, ago? No, I would like to finish. Okay, okay just answer. It's very simple. Black I am you, answering. No, I know, but you're, you're not really. You're kind I am. Of, okay. Asian Americans okay. predominantly immigrate here for work reasons. They come from already wealthy countries. They're already wealthy when they get here. Crime is committed primarily First by of all, that's not people. true. Talk to anybody from Viet who's a Vietnamese? Anybody? Did you did your family come here wealthy? No. Yes not and wealthy, no. Okay. But not wealthy, but not I'm not saying no. they come no. here. Okay. The average I'm, Vietnamese does not come here wealthy. I'm not Okay, I perhaps misspoke, not wealthy, but a lot of the, you know, you complain about it all the time. A lot of the immigration from countries that border us, right? It's it's sort of desperate people who are of a lower economic status, right? And they're coming here for a better life. So, so two things. Number one, there's been more blacks that have legally immigrated to this country in the last 30 years than were ever brought as slaves. That's number one. Number okay. two, you still haven't answered the question. I'm, I'm trying but to. <laughs> why, why it's a complicated answer. B black people are only 13% of the population, yet they commit 55% of the murders. Why? Because black people tend to be in lower economic statuses because of complicated because of okay, no, no, this CRT. Is fine. This is great. Basically. So you think that poverty equals crime? I think that it's um, highly correlated and there's ah, a lot of studies on This is where we that. disagree. What an insult to the working poor so of this country. So why do you think black people commit more crime, Well, first Charlie of all, well, so how, let me, ask you, let me ask you a question as no, my answer. answer. Go on. What percentage of blacks have a father around when they're raised? 
I'm not sure. 20%. So 80% of blacks is. do not have a stable father around. It is the most predictable way to end up in prison, end up as a murderer or a criminal. And it's not a racism problem. problem. It's not a white supremacy problem. It's a fact that black fathers impregnate women and they don't stay around with the women and that why, they have impregnated. Charlie Kirk, do you think... That, is, that happens more in the black community compared to on, others. It's it's threefold. Number one, we subsidize single motherhood. Number two, it's culture. It's accepted in the black community. And it oh, shouldn't so it's be. culture. Okay, okay. Don't take my I word see. for it. Read Thomas Sowell's own book on how black culture allows single motherhood to continue into a nanny state type practice. 75% of black youth are raised out of father in the home. 75%. Is that a bigger problem or not a bigger problem than whiteness, white privilege, or white supremacy? How they can should you all be addressed and they're all related. Okay, how is a white person to blame for the fact that 75% of blacks... Oh, individual white people aren't at all to blame. Okay, we agree. Yeah. So, but wouldn't it be more, like, smarter to be like, hey, that this is not about systemic racism. Like, stop impregnating your women and abandoning them? Um... Well, the way to incentivize not impregnating women and abandoning them is increasing access to health care, into housing, into everything that we know so, increases so we've those done outcomes that. for people. So we have spent $30 trillion on the social welfare system since 1965. Black people are poorer, and the single motherhood went from 25% to now 75 to 80%. So the more money we've spent on black America, the less fathers we have, because black women divorced black men and married the government. And do you think that's a problem inherent to black people? No, it's not. It's happening now in white communities and Hispanic communities. It's just the worst in black America. And why do you think that is? Why Why is it the worst in black America? There's also a cultural problem. There is, and okay, we have to be so honest just, about it. Okay, so it's just that black people are, are No, no, let me ask you a question. Like the, that, the average music that a black person in Compton is listening to, is it about contemplating the good, the true, and the beautiful, or is it about being a gangbanger and trying to get as much money and sleep with as, about as many girls as you can? I would actually like to think that's a I would be offended by that do you think <laughs> the my, average black kid rap. in Compton is listening to Beethoven or some sort of gangster rap music that glorifies gangster culture silly question rap wasn't created to glorify gangster culture so even though there is okay, rap, I mean, I'm you're sure not answering, doing you're, you're dodging the question because okay, I'm sure they're listening to rap okay Th so you think rap go. music makes them no, leave I'm their not. mom? Do you think the cultural expectation in black America is that you stay with the woman that you impregnate um for within black communities? I can't speak on that. Okay, the answer is no, it's not. It's not expected. Okay, and do you in, think in, that in, is... Hold on, in white Anglo-Saxon Protestant communities, oh, okay. it's a fact, hold on. In upper middle class white communities... Upper middle class, say that part louder. Yeah, upper middle class white Anglo-Saxon Protestant communities, if you impregnate a woman, you are looked down upon and we do not think highly of you if you abandon the woman that you impregnate. Mm -hmm. That's a cultural difference. Has nothing to do with money. Has nothing to do with anything except norms. And the norms that have infected black America are destroying it from within. We need more fathers, not less. We need more dads around and less. Charlie, Charlie, chill. I don't know for the blacks in America, but if we talk about blacks in Africa, please, please, if you marry here, the culture is different here. So I don't know the kind of culture you are talking about. And yeah, I mean, you let me first talk about the culture here here if you marry and you abandon your family i mean we we frown on it and the way we the same way we frown on i mean divorce rate so for africa let me say africa per se um people like uh, divorce rate is not really as high as america you know the divorce rate is low because if you marry, the probability of you staying together, having children, taking your kids to school, father, fathers are always around. So in a, in blacks in the America, Charlie made this um, video talking about um, how the government takes care of, I mean, the, the black women and their children whenever they are, whenever they go through divorce and you know those things. So it gives it has increased the rate at which um, fathers fathers do not stay. I mean, fathers do not stay home when they impregnate with their women, and I think if that is true, I think it had it it had time we need to reduce it because sometimes crime. I mean, um, the rate at which crime happens in the community or a place, it's it's it can be a cause of you know broken home. I mean, let me say broken home is a, 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 a main cause of this 
crime rate because people, people they, charlie will always say um black communities make up 13 percent in america but yet they have 55 percent of crime rates and you always say it's that it's as a result of broken home within the black community that's why crime rate is really high in the blacks and i think somewhere or the other i think i agree with him because if um there is they, they always say charity begins at home you know for someone to be focused steady and um, discipline it's always begins at home and i really agree with it so when there is a family when there is a father mother training a kids like training children i think the turnout is always is some is always at least better than a single parent training their children and i don't know the statistics charlie is using here saying um the 75 percent of um, fathers we did a black community do not um take care of their children or i don't know the statistics that, that they are using but i think if you grow up without a father or if you grow up without that um co um the lady also made a statement that the crime rates at the, the crime rates within the blacks are higher because of poverty i mean there is no excuse to to crime you know, you can't say um, because of poverty or because um, this my community, I'm black and I'm poor, I have to go and commit crime or I have to go and commit murder, you know. You know, so many race migrated to America. They are living in America, like the Asian, um, the Hispanic, the Asians and those people. They are, they are all in America and I'm not sure. The lady said um, those uh, Asian people migrated to America with richness. I mean, they were rich before they came to America. That's why the crime rate is low in their side of that no but it, it it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense i don't, I don't know poverty does not give you the reason to to commit a crime or something so i don't really agree with that and charlie one of his video made a statement about asian community living in america he said um asians their cultures are different for them they frown against divorce if if you are living in an Asian community, like they say, the, the Koreans, the Indians, they make sure you go to school. They, they always, they don't joke with their, 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 their family. It's father, mother relationship. They give birth. They make sure they have a, a focused family. They send your, their children to school. So the rate actually the crime in their community is lesser. I think if he, he said that, I really agree with, with that. Let me know what you think about this video. If you have any recommendations for me, don't forget to leave it down there. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to click on the subscription button for more notifications. Thanks for watching.